Hello everyone, this is example 5 on statical stability of floating bodies and the uh, body is again non-rectangular. So here is the problem, a solid and uniform equilateral triangle of side x and length 4x of specific gravity 0.9 floats in water. So compute the submerged depth in terms of x for the following cases, flat bottom, pointed bottom and for third question determine the stable position by computing the metacentric height in its case in terms of x so this is the first part let's solve for the depth of the submerged depth and the first case is we have flat bottom so this is x the dimensions of the equilateral triangle will be all x. So the angle is 60. This is also 60 degrees. So we will call the the width of the waterline section as y. So everything here will also be y. So this is the submerged depth for flat bottom case. So this is the center of buoyancy because this is triangular the center of buoyancy is the centroid of this uh, trapezoidal section below the below the water surface so it is also the centroid of this submerged volume but because the length perpendicular to the screen is constant at 4x so this center of buoyancy will also be the centroid of this trapezoidal uh, area. Then the center of gravity, because this is triangular, is one-third of the height of the equilateral triangle from the bottom or two-thirds from the top. So remember, this is equilateral triangle. And therefore, the waterline section is rectangular of dimension y perpendicular to the screen for x. So let's assume that the meta center is above G so that MG is assumed to be positive in this uh, problem. So we will call the distance of center buoyancy as HB, the center of gravity from the bottom as HG, and the height of the centroid of the equilateral triangle of dimension y above the waterline section as hy so distance of centroid of this uh, portion above the waterline section is one third of the height and the height is y sine of 60 again just like the height of the original equilateral triangle which is x sine of 60. That's it. So for 5.1 weight equals buoyant force, the weight is equal to specific gravity of equilateral triangle 0.9 gamma specific weight of water gamma of water times volume of equilateral triangle then equals uh, specific weight of water, buoyant force, specific weight of water times volume displaced. Cancelling out volume displaced, so we can say that the volume displaced is 0.9 of volume of this equilateral triangular wedge. So where the volume of equilateral triangular wedge is area of the equilateral triangle which is one half of xx times sine one half of xx sine of included angle so remember area of triangle is one half product of adjacent sides times sine of the included angle or simply one half base times side where the base is x and the height is x sine 60 that's why it is one half xx or one half x square sine 60 degrees times length perpendicular to the screen 4x 4x 
So equals volume displays. So volume displays in terms of x cube is 1.5588x cube. Then we equate this volume displays into area of trapezoid times uh, times 4x, where area of trapezoid is also area of big equilateral triangle minus area of small equilateral triangle of dimension y. So 1.5588x cubed equals area of trapezoid times 4x. So that means the area of the trapezoid is equal to 0.3897 of x square. So this area of trapezoid is equated into area of big triangle, 1 half x square sine 60 degrees, minus area of another equilateral triangle, 1 half of y square sine of 60 degrees. So this is y sine 60, the height of the equilateral triangle above the water line. Above the water line. So 1 half of x square sine of 60 degrees minus 1 half of y square sine of 60 degrees equals 0.3897 of x square. So solving for y, so y is 0.3163 of x. So having known y, then we can now compute HD. So HD, the submerged depth for this position where the bottom is flat or horizontal is equal to x sine 60 minus y sine of 60. So in terms of x, hd is x sine of 60 minus y, which is 0.3163x sine of 60 degrees. So from there, we can now compute hd equal to 0.5921 of x. Then let's proceed by computing the metacentric height. So from the figure, gbo is equal to hg minus hb. hg is one third of x sine 60 because this is an equilateral triangle or a triangle with constant uh, length perpendicular to the board. So the centroid or the center of gravity of this body is also the centroid of this equilateral triangle because it is homogeneous and therefore it is one third of x sine of 60 one third of the height. So Hg is equal to 0.2887 of x, while Hg, uh, Hb, because this is the center of buoyancy, the centroid of this trapezoid, we can only compute that by Varignon's theorem. Instead of volume, we use just area. So area of trapezoid times HB, so moment about the base, is equal to area of this big equilateral triangle times HG, which is 0.2887x, minus area of this small equilateral triangle with dimension Y times HY. So where HY is equal to X sine 60 degrees, minus this distance to the centroid, which is y sine 60 degrees, two-thirds of y sine 60 degrees. So h sub y is x sine 60 minus two-thirds of y point three one six three x sine of 60 degrees. So h sub y is equal to 0.6834 of x. Then we apply Varignon's theorem, area of trapezoid times hb, is equal to area of big equilateral triangle, one half of x square sine 60 degrees times 0.2887x minus one half of y square, 0.3163x quantity square sine of 60 degrees times hy, which is 0.6834 of x. So solving for hb in terms of x, hb is 0.2448 of x. So having found h sub b, we can now compute gbo. So GBO is equal to HG 0.2887X minus 
HB, which is 0.2448x. So GBO is equal to 0 0.0439 of x. Then, having found GBO, let's compute next MBO. The waterline section is Y here. And the length perpendicular to the screen is 4x. And that is y, which is equal to 0.3163x. So moment of inertia with respect to this rolling axis is 4x times y cube 0.3163x quantity cube over 12 divided by volume displaced, which is 1.5588x cube. So quantity 4x times 0.3163x quantity cube over 12 divided by 1.5588x cubed. So MBO is equal to 0 0.006767 of x. Finally, MG is MBO minus GBO in our assumption here. So MBO is 0 0.006767x minus GBO, which is 0 0.0439 of x. So MG is negative. So that means this body with bottom flat cannot float in this position because it is unstable as manifested by this calculated uh, metacentric height mg. But that's the metacentric height, negative 0 0.03713 of x. So let's proceed to the second question. What if the bottom is pointed? So for pointed bottom, this is the figure, the center of gravity it's the same. We will call now the width of the waterline section as Z. So everything here will also be Z because this is an equilateral triangle. And the original dimension is XXX. So this is the submerged depth for this pointed bottom case. And this is easier than the previous one because the area that is submerged is just area of equilateral triangle of dimension Z. So still, B, this is BO, the center of buoyancy, which is the centroid of this equilateral triangle, which is two-thirds of HD2 from the pointed bottom. While G is the same, but this time this is two-thirds of the height of the equilateral triangle, which is X sine 60. And let's assume again M as above G this time. Then above G. Then this is X sine of 60, remember? And this HG here is two-thirds of HD2. Oh, sorry, two-thirds of X sine of 60. Because that's the center of gravity of the entire equilateral triangle. Then this is HB2. HB2, distance from pointed bottom to center buoyancy, is two-thirds of HD2, the centroid of a triangle from the vertex. So we will still again call this volume displaced, which is the same as before because weight equals buoyant force. Only the configuration is changed, but the volume displaced remains the same, 1.5588 x cube. So from previous slide, one point, volume displaced is 1.5588 x cube, but this volume now is equal to the area of this equilateral triangle of dimension z. So one half z square sine of 60 times length perpendicular to the board for x. So 1.5588 x cube is one half of z square sine of 60 degrees times 4x, solving for z in terms of x, it is 0.9487 of x. So that the hd2 is equal to z sine of 60. So this is the submerged depth. So hd2 is 0.9487 x sine of 60 degrees. So the submerged depth for this case is with pointed bottom is 0.8216 of x. Then let's compute uh, hg2, which is two thirds of x sine 60. 
degrees or 0.577 for x. The other way of computing its d2 is x sine 60 minus, remember this is 0.2887 of x from the preceding slide. So it will still give us 0.577 for of x. So x sine 60 minus 0.2887 287x or simply two thirds of x sine 60, while hb2 is equal to two thirds of hd2, two thirds of 0.8216x. So hb2 is 0.5477x. Then we can compute g distance between buoyant center of buoyancy and center of gravity GBO. It is equal to HD 2.5774x minus HB2, which is 0.5477x. So GBO is 0 0.0297 of x. Then let's compute next MBO. So the waterline section would look like this. So this is Z perpendicular to the board for x. Moment of inertia with respect to this rolling axis is 4x z cube over 12 divided by volume displaced which is 1.5588 x cube so substitute 4x times quantity 0.9487 x cube over 12 divided by 1.5588 x cube will give us mbo equals 0.1826 of x so finally we can now compute mg which is MBO minus GBO from the figure. So MG is positive and therefore the equilateral triangle with pointed bottom is stable in this position. So it can float in this manner, not the previous one because MG was negative there. So to answer question number three, the stable position is one with pointed bottom equilateral triangular body. So that's it for this problem. I hope that you were able to follow the explanations and the solutions.